What's up guys, we are back with another Sega Mega Drive Classics mod review and showcase. I'm going to go through a few hacks in this video that honestly aren't very good in my opinion and I'm just going to show you why. So these were a few of the games that I was subscribed to in the Steam Workshop. So all of the hacks in this video are going to be for Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Sega Mega Drive. The first one up is Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Um, Play through Sonic 1 as Nintendo's most popular character, or at least try to, because this game is very rough and it's a very difficult hack for all of the wrong reasons. Rather than playing as Sonic with sprite replacements, you are literally Mario with his sprites from Super Mario Bros. 3 on the NES. The problem with this hack is that, for starters, Mario would have a hard time by default when going through Sonic stages. Um, in fact, there isn't much speeding up with Mario in this game. You can hold down the B button and he will move slightly faster. It will honestly make little to no difference however. Even when getting the invincibility stars, Mario's speed will not increase. His only abilities are jump and super jump which you can do by crouching down for a couple seconds, just like in Super Mario Bros. 2 USA. So, Mario cannot run through loops, so there is a good chance you will get stuck when playing through some of these levels. To be honest, I don't think the game is even completable. With that being said, uh, I think this hack is just really rough, um, and if you really want to play through Mario in Sonic style stages, I would suggest playing something like Samari the Adventurer. Next up is Metallic Madness, which is a hack that lets you play Metallic Madness in Sonic the Hedgehog 1. It is the only stage in this hack, so all you have to do when you start this game up is just hit start, and uh, you'll be automatically teleported to Metallic Madness. So. I don't think this is the actual stage from Sonic CD, it's more like a custom stage with the same theme and gimmicks of the stage. Um, it doesn't have the shrink ray gimmick however, most likely due to the game's limitations. It does have the past and future signposts placed throughout the stage that you can actually interact with. The problem with this feature however is that if you do move fast enough, to jump to the past or the future, the game will just freeze. So the hack also does not have any music, so um, I don't think the hack is worth it for Metallic Madness alone, as this stage originally it just isn't very fun. So I will say that it is an interesting feature to be able to play Sonic CD games and Sonic 1, however I would suggest just skipping over this one. Next is Werehog and Sonic 1, a game that lets you play as Sonic's God of War-like transformation and Sonic the Hedgehog 1. It's really just a sprite swap, but it actually looks pretty good. Most of Sonic's sprites have been replaced, with a few exceptions, such as balancing on the edge of a platform for example. Uh, it will cause Sonic to, you know, revert back to his normal looking sprites. You know, and uh, it's not too bad, like I said, it's only for a few different animations. Um, most of the stages have, like, their color palettes change, and the very first act of Green Hill is slightly different at the beginning with a wall blocking your way that you can just spin dash through. Uh, so yeah, the Werehog also does have access to the spin dash ability, and uh, none of his actual Werehog abilities, like I said, it's mostly just a sprite swap. So, I think this one is actually okay, it just, the only thing that's missing is it just needs a few more sprites to cover all of Sonic's actions. So this one I actually will recommend as it is pretty decent. So that's going to do it for this review. Those are some of the hacks that I recently downloaded over the weekend and I wanted to share my thoughts and experiences with you guys. So you can find all of these on the Steam Workshop for the Sega Mega Drive Classics. Just make sure that you own a copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 so that you can have access to these mods. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.